Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was up almost 1% today. Really important day, in my opinion, just because we hit that low back on Friday morning. We rallied back to a positive on Friday afternoon. Monday was a big up day. Yesterday, we opened up lower, but then rallied for the rest of the day, almost got back to positive. And today, we kind of continued that rally for the morning. And then the market settled in because it was waiting for the Federal Reserve minutes uh, from the previous meeting to come out. The minutes didn't say anything new. Market responded fairly positive to that, still expecting two rate increases of a half a percent and letting bonds at uh, very specific values uh, disappear off of their uh, balance sheet, uh, which they've already talked about in the last meeting. So that was good. Uh, we did have some earnings reports after hours uh, that might make the market a little shaky tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how this happens. But for example, NVIDIA uh, did fantastic. They beat their revenue estimates for the quarter. They beat their earnings estimates for the quarter, but their forward guidance was less than what was expected, not by a lot, but by a little, uh, specifically talking about the same things everybody's been talking about with inflation, the China COVID lockdown situation and lost revenue uh, for, because they can't operate inside of Russia. Uh, so I think what we're seeing there is kind of those macro issues starting to come through in some of these uh, earnings reports, whether it's happening on the current quarter, uh, like it did for Snapchat yesterday, or it's happening maybe in the guidance for the next quarter, like what we saw with NVIDIA today. So that could bring down the market a little bit tomorrow, but hopefully there's enough buying strength to come in and at least keep it somewhere you know, in the good area as far as that goes. And then maybe we'll have a follow through, you know, coming through on Friday or what have you. So uh, one of the other things that happened today is there was a great article done on uh, insider buying, specifically targeting executives. Uh, and so executives of companies theoretically know more about what's going on. And we're seeing a big spike in insider buying that's happening uh, in sp specifically in the S&P 500 type companies. So these are people that are running these companies that realize what they might be able to do going forward. They can see things things you know, that all of us can't see, and they're actually buying. There's lots of reasons that company executives sell stocks, uh, but only one reason that they buy stocks, uh, theoretically, and that is that you know they're hoping it goes up and they make more money. So uh, uh, generally speaking, that's a really good sign for a bottoming portion of a market. So we'll see what happens. So what we're trying to do right now is say that Friday was the last downturn. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we're building kind of brick by brick a foundation of at least a bounce. You know, I don't know if it'll be a reversal. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but we really need to continue to see some follow through, which is exactly what we've gotten so far this week. So I think that's pretty exciting. So very interesting to see what happens tomorrow. I'd like to see at least hold up some uh, and then maybe come back some more on Friday. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But I uh, look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.